The film begins on a rainy day in 1986 in the home of a mysterious, lonely woman named Lou on Orcas Island in Washington. Lou lives with her dog Jax in her cabin. She starts the day by digging up a box from the ground and going about the rest of her day. Moments later, she empties the box which contains classified documents and burns them in the fireplace. She writes a letter to an unknown recipient and stashes the letter and some cash into a safe. Then she cleans and oils her rifle. Finally, she sits at the center of her living room, placing her weapon beneath her chin like she's about to shoot herself. She goes out to hunt with Jax and kills a deer. She drags the carcass away after, with Jax following her from behind. Moments later, she goes to the village to buy supplies before emptying her account at the bank. While she's at the bank, a news broadcast about an ongoing war between the United States and Iran draws her attention. She takes her money and leaves. On her way, she runs into the sheriff, Sheriff Rankin, waiting by her truck. Rankin asks her about her arthritis, and he tells her a copper bracelet could help her condition. Rankin explains that the bracelet works, but Lou ignore his advice. On the drive home, a radio broadcast announces that the impending storm will be the biggest storm the Pacific West has ever seen in years. In the meantime, a mother, Hannah, plays hide-and-seek with her young daughter, V, outside their home. V wants them to continue playing, but Hannah refuses because of the storm. When they work in the garden, V asks her mother when her father will return for them, but Hannah doesn't know. She instead distracts V by offering to allow her to play another round of hide-and-seek since the storm is still a few hours away. Just then, Lou, her landlady, stops by on her way home to say the rent is due the next day. Hannah asks for an extension, but Lou refuses. For some minutes, it seems Lou wants to say something to Hannah, but she cannot find the words. Lou looks troubled. She hesitates and then gives up. As Lou continues driving home, V suddenly runs out of the bushes, and Lou, lost in thought, almost runs into her. Lou stops the car immediately, narrowly running her over. Lou keeps a straight face when Hannah yells at her and tells Hannah to teach her child to look after herself. Chris, Hannah's male friend, is waiting by the house when Hannah arrives and offers to bring her supplies. Chris and Hannah are having an affair and almost kiss when V calls her mother. Chris leaves. Unknown to them, Lou is watching them from her house. Shortly after, the rain starts to fall. On the way home, Chris picks up a hitchhiker. The man finds a book in his car and learns that Chris is in love with a single mother and her child. The hitchhiker apparently knows whom he is referring to and becomes upset. He turns on the radio, blasting loud music, and kills Chris in his van. In the meantime, Lou watches tapes and looks at pictures of her past self when she was a CIA operative. In the meantime, Hannah and V spend time together indoors, safe from the storm, oblivious to Chris's death. Hannah lies to V that her father loves her rather than tell her the truth about their separation. Lou writes a letter for an unknown recipient, leaving her the house and the money she stashed at the film's beginning. In the meantime, Hannah tucks V into bed when the power suddenly goes out. The hitchhiker cuts power to Hannah's home and breaks in. While outside trying to restore power, V discovers someone is in the house and starts to panic. She calls her mother, but Hannah is too far away to hear. She hides, but the hitchhiker enters her room and kidnaps her M, fleeing with her on foot. Hannah soon discovers Chris's van and sees his corpse. She rushes back to the house, scared for her daughter. When she reaches V's room, V is missing, and Hannah finds the book in Chris's van on V's bed. Hannah realizes what has happened and hurries off Lou's house. Meanwhile, Lou is about to commit suicide, but a panicked Hannah arrives on time, interrupting her suicide attempt. Lou explains that V has been kidnapped by her father, Philip, a former Green Beret and war criminal she thought was dead. Hannah shows Lou a note left by V's father, and the duo sets out to look for V in the rain. Before they can leave, Lou's truck refuses to start. And when she goes to investigate, she discovers a bomb set by Philip. The truck blows up, forcing them to search for V on foot. Lou refuses to allow Hannah to follow her because of the storm, but she insists. Hannah, Jax, and Lou tracked him and V into the night. Meanwhile, Philip holds V captive in a cabin in the woods. However, he doesn't harm her. He reintroduces himself as her father and lies that he has returned from an adventure. V is skeptical, and he tells her Hannah will join them soon. V becomes more trusting. After hours of walking in the storm, Lou and Hannah finally find a cabin where Philip's friends hide. Lou asks Hannah to wait behind and gives her a rifle to keep watch of her and a knife to protect herself. She then pretends to be a wounded aged lady stranded in the woods. She tricks Philip's unsuspecting friends into letting her into the cabin. They offer her food and warmth, not knowing her true intentions. Lou then attacks and badly wounds them, clearly showing she is more than she appears to be as Hannah watches from afar. Lou kills one and tortures the other, Jerry, into revealing where Philip is taking V before she kills him. Jerry confesses that Philip is taking V to the beach at Eagle Bay. When Hannah shows up, thinking Lou is wounded, Lou searches the cabin for clues and finds another note from Philip. Hannah tries to phone the police, but Lou tells her it wastes time. 
She asks Lou who she is, and Lou explains she is an ex-CIA field agent of 26 years. They continue their search through the forest. In the meantime, V says she wants to pee, forcing Philip to stop momentarily. Hannah finally gets a radio signal, but Philip jams into the signal but doesn't say anything. He soon starts to call V so he can continue his escape. He finds V distracted by a wounded butterfly. Philip attempts to kill the butterfly, but V stops him. V says she hasn't peed yet but secretly watches Philip pick up and kill the butterfly. She becomes frightened by him. In the meantime, Lou notices Hannah is injured and asks them to rest. Hannah refuses, believing that if they waste time, Philip will get away and V will be beyond their reach. Lou insists, revealing Philip's tracks, indicating that he was taking breaks too. While they rest, Hannah treats her wound and Lou discovers scars on her body. Hannah reveals that Philip used to maltreat her. Lou blames her for staying and enabling him, but she says she was blinded by love and thought she could fix him. Lou then asks if he has ever hurt V, but she says he hasn't. Lou feels sorry for Hannah and assures her she will bring V back. The duo soon set out again when the rain stops and finds part of Philip's carriage and V's blanket on the path, implying that he is not too far away. Lou and Hannah attempt to cross an unstable bridge. Lou sends Jax back home. When Lou is halfway through the bridge, she slips and falls. Hannah falls too, and they land painfully on the ground, losing consciousness. Hours later, they regain consciousness and continue their search. Lou and Hannah eventually track Philip and V to the beach at Eagle Bay. When they arrive, Hannah thinks they are long gone, but Lou deduces that they are still on the island. Lou then sends Hannah to the radio for help while she confronts Philip and rescues V. In the meantime, Philip has set camp with V. Philip tries to bond with his daughter, but she fears him. Meanwhile, Hannah finally radios Rankin and explains her situation to him. The sheriff then dispatches officers to the island. Lou finally confronts Philip, revealing that he is Lou's son, who tracked them down after she turned him in and hid them for protection. It is also revealed that Lou abandoned him as a child to avoid blowing her undercover mission in Iran. Lou also explains that Hannah doesn't know she's his mother. Lou tries to reconnect with her son and says he is always better than her. She begs him to stand down, but he refuses. The duo faces off as V peacefully sleeps since Philip has given her a powerful sleeping drug. Philip injures Lou after an intense fight and leaves with V, intending to kill all of them together. He tells Lou to bring Hannah to the lighthouse. Hannah contacts the sheriff, but a call from the United States Marshals Service forces him to stand down since Philip is a fugitive of the law and Lou is a person of interest in the CIA. The office faxes pictures of Lou and Philip to Rankin. The case is now considered a federal case. The sheriff goes to Eagle Bay nonetheless. Hannah soon finds the wounded Lou and realizes she is Philip's mother. Lou explains that she set Hannah up on the island to escape Philip after he murdered innocent civilians in El Salvador. Hannah is furious at Lou for keeping her identity a secret from her. Hannah says Lou was cruel for treating her and V like strangers instead of family. Despite Lou's warning, she leaves her to rescue V alone. Rankin and Jax arrive in the morning, and he gives her a copper bracelet. She then goes to the lighthouse. Meanwhile, Hannah arrives at the lighthouse and gets V away from Philip. She tells V to hide. The couple brutally fights each other, and Hannah injures Philip and flees. She soon finds V and discovers the lighthouse filled with explosives. Lou soon arrives and changes the frequency of the remote. Philip attempts to activate the bombs but realizes he no longer has control. He furiously storms out of the lighthouse, searching for Lou. Meanwhile, Lou reunites Hannah and V and tells them to go without her. She then sets them off the explosives from a distance, destroying them with her remote to signal an approaching CIA helicopter. Momentarily, Philip reaches the beach. He and Lou fight murderously until she gains the upper hand and hugs him. She apologizes as a CIA agent fires on them from the helicopter, and Lou and Philip go under the water's surface, presumably dead. Later, Hannah and V are shown in Lou's house, packed up and ready to leave the island. After a few questions from CIA agents and a goodbye from the sheriff, they are seen on board a ferry with Jax. The letter Lou wrote earlier was meant for Hannah. In the letter, she tells Hannah to sell the house and keep the cash she left for her. Jack stares at a watchful Lou on the upper deck as she watches her granddaughter and daughter-in-law through binoculars. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more like this content. Comment what you think I should recap next and I'll see you in the next video.